going to wrap up here shortly, but I have a special guest for you. And, be, and before I bring her up, I want to share a message with you. Not everyone here, as we've heard throughout today, we don't all agree politically, left and right. At the end of the day, we agree that fighting anti-Semitism is an emergency and that we all need to tackle it together. So this next individual I'm bringing up here really wanted to be here to show her support for what we're doing. Her name is Kelly Muse. Kelly is the Bureau Chief of the Hate Crimes of the B Brooklyn District Attorney's Office. I'm gonna bring her up here to say a couple words, but thank you, Kelly, for coming here to show your support for the Jewish community and for the American people here in New York. Come on up. All right, good afternoon, everyone. Well, first of all, thank you for hosting such an amazing and much needed event today. And it wasn't just me, by the way, who decided to show up today. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Is she wonderful? <laughs> you know why I came up? Why? Uh, you don't mind, right? You're cool? You're great? Yeah. Okay. Uh, there is, I don't know if he's still here, but another member of the city council, uh, he was here. I saw him. Uh, he's oh, there he is. Let's hear it. You, I think everybody's familiar with this name. He has been there to stand up for the Jewish people. Councilman Kalman Yeager has been back there the entire time. Kalman, thank you, thank you very much. So it isn't just me as the chief of the bureau who's here. There's a lot of our assistant ADAs who, from the Hate Crimes Bureau who also took the time out of their day to come. So I just want them to raise their hands for where they are. So thank you guys for taking time out on this Sunday to be here. Um, it's extremely important that we come together for things like this throughout Brooklyn, New York City, and throughout our country. And I just want you to know that we are doing that each and every day at the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office. And it is true that hate crimes are on the rise in our beloved city. And all hate, a lot of hate crimes, anti-Semitism is definitely on the rise, but there are other hate crimes also that are on the rise. And our district attorney, Eric Gonzalez, has been at the forefront of anti-Semitism and all hate crimes. In that, in that, um, well, first of all, he strongly believes that nobody should be attacked based upon who they love, what they look like, how they dress, what God they serve, or any of that. You should be able to f be free to walk down the street and be be yourself. You leave the morning. You leave in the morning. Just a certain way, you should be able to come home, you know, free of any type of violence. We strongly believe that. And as such, the DA created, at the end of last year, a standalone bureau, a hate crimes bureau in the Brooklyn District Attorney's Office. We believe that it's probably the only hate crimes bureau in the city and probably in the country that addresses hate crimes in the manner that we do. So we are at the forefront, at the very beginning, as soon as we know about hate crime, we are in touch with and working very diligently with the hate crimes task force of the New York City Police Department, who's pretty amazing, by the way. Um, they, you know, we talk, you know, from the very beginning, we're talking about, you know, um, what the facts are, what to do, how to make cases stronger. You know, let's look at social media to see whether or not this person has done this in the past. Let's, you know, figure out everything that we can do. Sorry, there's bugs up here. Let's figure out everything that we can do to combat hate in our city and in our borough. Um, but we aren't just here to prosecute hate crimes. We're also here to educate the community. Um, unfortunately, there's too many people who, you know, outside of, you know, their own religion or race don't interact with people who are unlike them. And so our children need to be educated. And so we're working really hard to come up with programs to educate our children so that they can, you know, grow up and understand that hate crimes are unacceptable. The people are people no matter who they are, no matter what God they serve, no matter who they love. So I just want you to know that we are working in conjunction with several agencies, actually. I mean, we're pretty proud of the progress we're making in terms of going into, possibly going into schools. Um, we are free to come to your, your synagogues, your churches, your, your schools to discuss hate crimes, what a hate crime is, what a hate crime is not, um, and just talk to you about the law and what we're doing. So, you know, we also have a, a hate crimes hotline. 
that is, we're, which means we're available 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So if the hate crime happens, we don't have to wait till Monday morning to get answers. We work with the hate crime task force, as I said, immediately. And also, you can contact the hate crimes task force, I'm sorry, you can contact our hate crimes hotline if you're uncomfortable contacting the NYPD. I'm gonna give you the number. It's easy to remember. 718-250-4949. So that's 718-250-4949.